Hey everybody, Imperial Ants back again, and I'm sure you're all really pleased to hear my annoying voice again. So, this video is going to be about this product I've worked on with my new vivarium, to essentially make it self-feeding. So, for this project, I bought a whole bunch of red runner roaches, also known as Turkistanus roaches. Here you can see a time lapse of my ants eating one that I crushed. Initially, there were about 50 roaches, and they arrived in this petri dish. I then put it in my vivarium and took the lid off, allowing the nymphs to escape. Now, the larger roaches didn't have any problem escaping, but the small ones were struggling a bit. Now, this was mostly due to the inability to climb smooth surfaces, which is also the main reason that these roaches are such good livestock, because, well, they can't escape. The roaches quickly explored the entire vivarium, and most of them soon decided to just chill under this little log. And here you can see a little male, who was interested in this piece of plum I put in. So, uh, yeah. Time to get on to what I mean by self-feeding. So, defined by me, self-feeding is essentially just a system where I don't really have to get external food sources for the animals inside, apart from, like, the odd piece of fruit, which is necessary for sugars, unless I get little animals like aphids which I might plan on doing in the future. So, let's get on to how successful this has been, before I give you guys a, a special treat at the end. So far, it's been going pretty well. I get a good protein source for my ants without having to go find them. And yeah, I think some of the females are getting to a point where they can start breeding. But anyway, on to this treat, and some problems with this setup. So, the treat is this really nice macro footage of these guys, which really brings out the gold colorations across their body, which you can't see with the naked eye. Now, onto some problems. So, there's only really one, and that's the fact that sometimes these males can fly. And today, I actually found one on my floor, which was kind of annoying and shocking. So yeah, do take that in mind. Uh, definitely keep a lid on if you want to do this sort of thing. So yeah, that'll be all from me. I'll just leave you guys on the rest of this macro footage, which I took with the bloody phone cam, and it came out wrong. Surprise, surprise. Thank you.